Yo, what's up guys? My name is RedCloud. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to encode with your NVIDIA graphics cards. I made another video for AMD graphics cards if you guys want to check that out here if you guys are in the wrong video. If you guys don't know, I stream every day at Twitch TV slash RedCloud. We play some Call of Duty, some Fortnite. We play with viewers among us here and there. Um, so if you guys want to stop by the stream, I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys hit me with the follow. Or if you guys have a Twitch Prime sub available, I'd greatly appreciate that as well. So let's get right into the settings. Basically, as far as um, general goes, we don't really have to touch this. This is all um, preference. Um, the stream, you guys can log into your stream here um, and, you know, enable some Twitch add-ons if you'd like. The output, this is where the most important part comes to. This is where the quality of the stream comes to um, fruition. Uh, the simple output mode, this is where you will automatically be placed in. The simple mode uh, is something that you can use, uh, but I honestly prefer the advanced mode. The advanced mode makes it a lot easier to turn this uh, from X264 uh, to um, NVIDIA NVNC, the new H264 uh, encoder. So once we're here, uh, what you'll want to do is you'll want to tick enforce streaming service encoders settings if it's not on. Uh, if you'd like to rescale the output, you can, but I'd recommend not rescaling it because the rescaling, it, it's basically doing like another math problem. You, you really don't want to be making your computer do more than it has to if you don't need it to be doing that, especially if you're on like a lower end PC and you really need the most performance uh, out of your PC while you're trying to play. So rate control, we want to keep this on CBR, your bit rate. Uh, the best bitrate that you can possibly stream at, if you are not a partnered streamer on Twitch, is 6,000 kilobytes. I'm pretty sure that's kilobytes. Um, basically, uh, Twitch will cap your stream. Even if you try and stream at 10,000, let's say 10,000, I can upload at this on my stream, but Twitch won't let me. Unless you're streaming on YouTube, you can stream at 10,000, but for me... Uh, it's 6,000. If you guys don't know how to find your upload speed, go to Google and type um, Internet Speed Test. Basically, if you have anything over 6 megabytes of upload, you can stream at 6,000 kilobytes a second. But just so you know, like let's say your mom or you know your grandma, I don't know why your grandma's on Instagram, but maybe she's uploading or live streaming her, you know, at the nail salon or some shit i don't know um you know if she's streaming on your network um they are going to impede your upload speed so you're gonna drop frames just off of your upload so keep that in mind with your upload make sure you guys find the right upload there are some upload calculators that you can google as well on twitch i might link one in the description below if you guys wouldn't um if you guys don't um end up finding how to do this yourself so i'll do that for you guys the preset we want to set this to max quality if you can uh do it if you have a newer card like i'd say anything over probably into the rtx slash like you know the new gtx 1660 line 1650 line uh and above you could probably get away with doing max quality or quality if you really, you know, want to be, you know, nitpicky about it. But if you have anything lower, I'd say then, you know, if you have a, like a 1060, uh, 3 gig or 6 gig, I'd set it on performance or max performance. Um, especially if you have a lower end card, definitely go max performance. But um, yeah, if you have a nicer card, go with the max quality. It'll look really good. And even on, uh, honestly, like performance and max performance. I really don't see that much of a difference. It feels really good. It looks really good. I've never gotten any complaints when I've played on lower end computers. Um, so max quality for me. The profile, you want to set this to high and leave it there. Don't really touch that because that creates like the, um, the priority of like what OBS is encoding with and all that stuff. So OBS has a good priority. The look ahead stuff, I wouldn't touch that. The psychovisual tuning, um, you can disable this if you have a lower end graphics card. If you have a higher end graphics card, uh, you can keep that. Basically, what it does is it uses the like an optimized use of bitrate. I'm literally just reading this, so don't pretend like I'm smart or anything. I'm literally just reading this. It uses uh, 
an uh, increase in bit rates so that you can just like use like more of your GPU, but it creates a smoother gameplay and stuff like that. I don't know, it, it, whatever. Anyway, not that important, but if you want to take it on and test it out, feel free to do so. So that is your streaming settings. As far as recording goes, you can do whatever you'd like here. Recording format, uh, MKV is pretty consistent. Um, some programs don't allow you to upload or um, insert MP4 videos. So I keep mine at MKV. You could use MOV as well. Um, and as far as the streaming coder, I just keep it on, on streaming coder if I want to just test my stream beforehand. It's a really good way to test um, live encoding on your graphics card before you upload. So, uh, But you can also do that with the stream as well. You can enable bandwidth test mode and that will check your upload as well. Um, so that will do that as well. So anyway, as far as the base canvas resolution, if you'd like to mess with this, you can. This is where um, certain things come into play. I'd say if you have a lower end PC, um, you can keep your base canvas, you can scale it down to uh, 1280 by 720, uh, and you can keep your output scale resolution the same resolution as well. Um, in the other video that I had, I had an AMD card on a lower end PC that I had. Uh, this is my main computer, uh, which is a very, very fast computer, so I can mess around with this stuff. The output scale resolution, we're keeping it at 900p, which is 1600 by 900. Um, and we are scaling this down, so we are gonna add a downscale filter, and we're gonna add Lanscos, which is sharpened scaling 36 samples. So if you have a lower end PC, what you can do is you can keep, like I said, 1280 by 720, and then put the output scale resolution, the same resolution as well. Um, but that is about it dudes like that is pretty much it it's literally that simple um i mean as far as like streaming quality goes nbnc encoding is basically the equivalent of using cpu x264 encoding on like a um faster slash fast preset so it looks just as good as cpu encoding but it doesn't hinder your computer as much as using your CPU. So NVNC encoding is definitely the future of OBS and streaming. It is definitely the best way to stream to Twitch to YouTube. And honestly, um, unless you're using a dual PC setup, uh, there's no reason not to be using NVNC encoding unless like you know, you just have like a potato ass graphics card and your CPU just happens to be a crazy beast and all you're playing is like League of Legends, then definitely, I guess like I'll just never upload this video. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this video helped you out in any way, shape or form, give it a thumbs up. And also if you guys want to leave a comment of your whole PC specs in the comment section below and let me know how it helped you specifically in OBS and your streaming. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'd love to see how it helped you guys out. As well as if you guys have any more specific questions about like upload or like, you know, I have this amount of upload. What should my encoder be at? What should my bitrate be at? Um, definitely just stop by my stream. I'm live every day at Twitch TV slash Red Cloud. I'm not tech support at all. I do this stuff because I, I'm a little bit knowledgeable in this stuff. I, I build and sell computers and stuff like that. So I... I'm definitely a nerdy guy, but I do enjoy just like goofing off on stream and, you know, playing shooting games and just chilling with my chat and stuff like that. So definitely more of a chill vibe when you come to my stream. YouTube's a little bit different, but you know, guys, I definitely love making YouTube videos. I love making videos like this. So I definitely hope to see you guys at my stream. Like I said, Twitch TV slash Red Cloud live every day. Catch you guys later. Phew. Peace out.